Hey everybody, it's Monica with Your Best Female Figure and today I am back with a total body workout that strengthens and tones every muscle in your body. It also burns a ton of fat and we're going to need a stability ball and some type of weighted ball and it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes depending on how many circuits you choose to do. So anyways, let's get started with the warm up and then we'll talk more about what inspired this circuit as we go. All right, so we're gonna start with a quick warm up. So sit on your ball with your legs bent and feet much wider than hip width apart. And then you're gonna circle that ball around using your deep abdominals um, in one direction for eight repetitions and then in the opposite direction for eight repetitions. You can place your arms um, out to the sides or hands on your knees, whatever makes it easier for you to make those big round circles that are gonna loosen up your hips and activate your core. Once you are done with eight to 10 of that, you're gonna move on to the standing glute activation. So stand behind a weighted ball or you can use a bench if you have one. Um, and just press your heel into that ball eight counts. Uh, you've seen this before in my glute activation exercise and this is really important because it really teaches you how to know that your glutes are firing when you're working out. So when you're doing squatting and lunging, you really wanna feel the glute muscles working. And this is a great uh, exercise that helps you to make that connection between your brain and your muscles. So it's also really great because it gets your glute firing a lot better. Okay, so once you finish with that, you're gonna move on to the stability ball glute activation. So lay face down, hands on the floor, hips and lower abs right on top of that stability ball one leg um, straight and foot touching the floor and then the opposite leg is bent and you're going to use that glute muscle of that side um, to lift that heel up towards the ceiling. Make sure that you're aiming straight up towards the ceiling and not backing out at an angle. Um, and this is gonna help to activate your glutes further and it's also going to improve uh, mobility in your upper back, believe it or not. So then eight to 10 reps on each side and then you're gonna finish up with the bridge glute activation so laying on the floor with one leg bent foot on the ball the opposite leg can be straight up or just out at an angle or you can even keep it bent like close to your body and using that glute muscle lift that lower body up as high as you can and then with control come down slowly so this requires both glute activation as well as core activation and then after this you'll be ready for both of the circuits that are coming up next if you don't have these types of balls, you can also do these exercises with your feet on the ground or on a chair or a bench or a step. Use whatever you have and make that work for you. It's all good as long as you're activating your glute muscles and your deep abdominals. Now you can run through this warm up once or twice, whatever you feel your body needs. But once you are finished warming up, you're gonna continue with fat burning intervals of two exercises. So you're doing a superset. You're going to alternate between overhead sumo squat and running in place. Now there's two ways that you can do these intervals. You can either pick repetitions uh, for each exercise and then alternate back and forth with no rest for four rounds, or you can set a timer for 30 seconds each exercise and then set it for four rounds. So you're gonna do four minutes of continuous work either way, whichever option you choose. All right, now a couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing this exercise is you have to keep that weight that you've chosen to use straight overhead. So don't allow it to shift back and forth because that is gonna mess with your balance. So the way that you do that is to use your upper back muscles, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down and keep them like that the entire time. This is gonna improve your posture for this exercise. And it's also gonna allow you to squat a lot deeper easily. So if you struggle with deep squatting, this is probably not something that you wanna try right away. Get rid of the ball, do it without the ball or without whatever weight you're using and then add in the weight as you get stronger. Um, the other thing is you have to keep your heels glued to the floor the entire time and you also have to focus on using your pelvic floor and your deep abdominals as you are lifting from that lowest portion of that squat. So a lot of muscle groups are working together uh, for this exercise and that's what makes it incredibly challenging. And then when you follow it up with running in place high knees, you're gonna feel it even more because you're having to work your abdominals 
and your hip flexors to pull those knees up high after you've been doing these really deep squats and that's very challenging so just keep all that stuff in mind as you're doing you know your rounds of this and be really uh focused on how your body um and your you know muscle groups are interacting with each other okay so now that you know what to focus on while you're doing these exercises let's talk about equipment that i'm using so i'm using something called a hydro ball which is basically just a ball filled with water and air it has 10 pounds of water in it but it can be filled up to 60 pounds which i can't even imagine doing that because it is incredibly challenging to hold overhead with just 10 pounds of water it really shakes you around because that water is kind of sloshing around all over the place um, I love this ball. It was $14 um, and it's by uh, Gold's Gym, I think, makes it. So it's really awesome and it's a fun new tool that I recently got and I'm really loving it. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is what inspired this circuit. So I watched the Kylie Minogue exercise video and thought it was so hilarious. Um, she is 45 years old and looks amazing. And in an interview about this video, she basically said that the video is, you know, for fun. It's a joke. Take it however you want to take it. And um, it's not pornographic or meant to be like, you know, gross or anything. So I saw a lot of really cool movements in that video that I thought would make a great circuit for toning and strength and fat loss. So that's really what inspired this circuit. Um, if you want to watch the video, I will link to it below so you can go check that out. Also, one more thing I want to mention is that you are free to modify these exercises any way you like. So if you start getting tired um, and you can't hold that ball overhead, then do halos like I'm doing here at the end. Or if you don't have this kind of ball and you don't want to go spend the money, then you can use dumbbells or you can use anything that you have available. So just be creative and do what you can do with what you have. Okay, so once we are done with our fat burning intervals, we're gonna continue with a circuit of exercises that strengthens and tones every muscle in your body. You guys have seen this first move in a few other videos. So you're gonna start with your feet hip width apart, and then you're just gonna rotate your body to the opposite side. You're gonna pivot those feet and then you're gonna rotate the body and then you're going to sit into a seated twist. You're gonna uncurl the legs, lift the hip and you're going to do that side pressing movement which I like to call a mermaid press because it does look kind of like a mermaid. Um, and then you're going to reverse that entire movement and repeat it on the other side and you're just gonna alternate back and forth eight to 10 repetitions total. That's all you're going to do and then you're gonna move on to the lunges with a ball halo or ball chop. So those are incredibly difficult because that water, it was just going crazy in the ball for me. If you're using a weighted ball that doesn't have water inside, it's not gonna be as you know challenging for you to keep your balance. So you're gonna be able to still feel a lot of your glute and core and arms and legs working. Um, so if you choose to use the water ball, be ready for some serious balance challenge because I know a lot of my clients really hate working on balance. Um, so I would never actually have them do this exercise with a water ball because they probably end up just throwing it at me out of frustration. But I love a balance challenge. So if you guys enjoy that, then we use the water ball. All right, so now that you know what to focus on, here's a couple of tips to help you with your workouts. So if you are a beginner and some of these movement patterns are really challenging, you can just lose the weight and focus on just the body weight stuff. You can split up the movement patterns. For example, if you can't do that get up um, and the mermaid press together, you can split those exercises up and just work them individually and then combine them once you get comfortable you know, and stronger. Um, you can also change your weight if you want to work with a different kind of weight. Um, you can also modify the exercise to your energy level. So let's say that you're having, you know, a rough day. You didn't get a lot of sleep. You're stressing out about something that's going on in your life. You're kind of distracted, but you still want to exercise and stay consistent with your workouts. Then modify the exercises to whatever's going on that day so that you can still get your workout in. 
um, and you don't have to skip your training just because of whatever's going on in your life. Now, once you're done with lunges, we're going to continue with the hover press. Start from a kneeling position, elbows, forearms, hands, and forehead on the ground with arms slightly in front of you, and you're just going to slide forward to hover over the ground. And then you're going to use all your back muscles, especially your triceps, your upper back, your deep abdominals and your glutes to glide back to the starting position, eight repetitions, and then you're gonna move on to the next exercise. Now the next exercise is all about deep abdominals. So you're gonna lay on the floor with holding your weight over the chest with your arms straight. You're gonna slowly lower those legs as far down as you can, contracting those deep abdominals to keep your back from overarching. Lift the legs back up. And if you wanna make it harder, you can also add a pullover. So you can also lower that ball back as the legs are going down and then come up into that starting position. Now, a few things to focus on when you're doing this exercise are to contract your deep abdominals as the legs move away from the body. So as the legs move down towards the ground and away from the center, your deep abdominals really have to work hard to stabilize your torso against the movement of the heavy legs. So a lot of people accomplish that by placing the hands underneath the butt when they're doing leg lifts, but that defeats the purpose of this exercise. This exercise is not about working your six pack abs it's about working your deep abdominals and making that muscle stronger so that you can have more stability with all your total body exercises and also for you know waist cinching so when your abdominals uh, your deep abs are really strong then you have that corseting effect all the time um, and you're not going to get injured when you're doing more complicated movement patterns now if you don't want to hold a ball overhead you can just lose the ball and you can place your fingertips with your arms bent place the fingertips right above the head on the floor um, and that's also going to help you to do this exercise with much better technique Okay, now this last exercise is really fun. It's just fan kicks. So you're gonna prop yourself up on your elbows. Make sure that your uh, back muscles are squeezing together to kind of pop your chest out and keep your neck relaxed. Um, and you're gonna start with knees pulled in and then you're just gonna kick the legs out from side to side, uh, bringing them into the center every time. Uh, with the knees bent and your the lower you aim the harder it is remember using your, your deep abdominals to stabilize the movement of the legs your legs are both going out down as well as to the side so you really have to focus on using your deep abdominals uh, to stabilize the movement of those heavy legs now, once you're finished with three to four rounds of that circuit, you're gonna finish up with some yoga stretches that lengthen your hip flexors and correct postural imbalances. So the first stretch is a dynamic fold over. So you're just gonna place your hands on the floor um, and, or on your shins if you can't reach that far down. And you're going to take three deep breaths and allow the entire back of the body to lengthen. And then you're gonna drive your glutes down towards the heels. So you're gonna end up in kind of a squat position. And then you're you're going to drive your butt back up to standing in that fold over and you're just going to alternate back and forth eight times then you're going to continue with this twisting ballet squat you're just going to drop down into this really wide stance squat place your hands on your inner thighs press into one inner thigh and then rotate the upper body into the opposite side um, and just alternate back and forth and this is really great for opening up the hip flexors and for lengthening those inner thighs which works super hard to stabilize a lot of those lower body exercises. Um, this is great for flattening your abs and also for slimming your waist as I have mentioned in previous videos that featured this exercise. Then from there, you're gonna drop down into the dancing frog. So down into that frog stretch with your knees uh, as wide as you can and your legs bent and your arches uh, towards the floor. Um, and then you're just gonna walk your hands around from side to side. So that's kind of like the dancing part of it that distracts from how intense the stretch is. Um, if you breathe and allow gravity to do the work and just allow your pelvis to sink into the floor instead of fighting it, this stretch is going to be a lot easier and you're going to get a lot more release and feel super tall when you get up from the floor. And of course, if you want to get more of a stretch, you can just lay your forehead down on top of your hands and just hold that for a few seconds, take a few deep breaths and really enjoy that inner thigh release as well as the hip flexor release. Now, once you're finished with your frog stretch, you're going to move on to the dynamic bow pose so you're going to lay on your stomach 
you're going to bend your legs and you're going to reach back and grab your feet or ankles with your hands and you're going to lift your chest and thighs off the ground by squeezing the back of the body so your back muscles and your glute muscles and also your hamstrings kind of have to all work together to lift uh, your the front of your body off the ground and then you're just going to release down and you're going to repeat that as many times as you like and then when you feel comfortable enough with this yoga stretch you're going to actually hold it for a few breaths and you can also rock it back and forth as you're holding it after this you're going to finish up with a really nice chest opener which is the fish pose you're just going to lay on your back and then you're going to lift your upper body off the ground by squeezing your shoulder blades together and you're going to place the top of your head on the floor so you actually have to really tilt your head back and allow all your neck muscles and your chest muscles to really open up and then you just hold that for a few deep breaths and then that's it you're done with your workout and you train your entire body you got some mobility some strength some toning some fat loss as well as some flexibility i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i will be back soon with another video to help you get your best female figure thank you so much for watching